Good morning, guys. Um, welcome to this week's video. By the way, I got a bit upset the other day and I cut my hair. So this is what my hair is looking like now. Although I feel like it's going to be for the best because I need it to be healthy again. And I'm never, ever dying it again. But I just do a bit of a couple days vlog day of my life all of that sort of stuff so today's sunday i'm helping charlie make some cold rolls and then i'm gonna go to the shops i want to find like an outfit or something that i can wear because i'm going away in a couple weeks I'm so excited i'll talk about it later you guys will see more details but i'm going on my very first cruise with work and i'm going to sydney I'm going to brisbane so i'm so excited i've got so many fun videos planned for that but like in the meantime like you guys if you've seen my last video you know that my life is just kind of all over the place right now and I don't really have anything interesting going on to film so anyway just thought I'd show you a daily vlog I'm gonna see my fine art of cold roll Quick. that's a big one mate go I'm coming I'm coming okay we're just going to the shops um I'm with Charlie but I need to try and get her a job somewhere again and then we're gonna go Woo! we're at the shoppies I see you. I'll be us one I'll, day. I'm on that in two weeks. Charlie's applying for jobs and I'm looking at books. Yeah. I'm size six. We might find some really good stuff, you know? What Look you how beautiful that is. No. Fashion. No, no, no. What is that? Mm. I never find anything there. So we're gonna go to Cotton On now. So I just grabbed some really random things that I found and I tried on this and I didn't actually expect it to look that decent. Um, and I also tried on this black flowy dress, you know, eh. This one was too big for me and kind of see-through. So. Okay, we actually had a pretty successful cotton on shop. So I got this black dress. It's just like a little flowy one. This was $5. This one was really like out there and different, but I just thought, you know, it doesn't look that bad. So I got this one, that was $5 too. And then this white one, the one that I tried on was too big for me, but they managed to have it in a size small. So I got that, that was $10. So. 20 bucks, three dresses, can't complain. The Hedgehog group, the Corgi crew, sorry. Forgot we changed it, lol. I'm gonna wash my car as well today. <laughs> gonna Happy. get low, low. Happy. Get off my dog. Did he get a wash? Wee! Subscribe to the subscribers, tell them to subscribe. Just making some lunch. Ooh, making a toasty. I'm so tired now. Oh, I can't be bothered for anything. It's like 3.30 now. I don't know where the day went. I'm probably just gonna have some lunch and then I wanna do some computer work. I just wanna like sit down and just breathe for a bit and do some stuff. I actually wanna be productive though. And Today's gonna be more of a chill day, but tomorrow I've got work, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go to the gym tomorrow morning before work if I have the energy. I've been having some really good workouts lately. Like I haven't been doing heaps of cardio and all that sort of stuff. I've been hitting some records guys i've been working really hard on just getting there and doing something because it's been really hard for me lately i've had a horrible week and it's been hard to just focus but i managed to do you know the hip thrust with the bar the heaviest weight i've ever done with the bar itself i did 80 kilos and normally i just use the machine it's not the same thing with the machine compared to the actual bar so i was really proud and my legs hurt so much today I wish I filmed it. But the thing is, when I finished that, I dropped the bar on my foot. When I was taking the weights off, there's no bruise or anything, but it really hurts. And I'm worried that, like, my toenail's gonna fall off. Yeah, that's update with the gym. I'm just trying to, like, hit some records, focus on building strength, and just getting there, just showing up for myself because I need to. Like, you need to show up for yourself on the days when you don't feel like it because that's when you're gonna see results. Everyone only did things when they felt like it. You're never gonna challenge yourself. You never. You're never gonna reach that level that you want to. You need to go to the gym, eat healthy, go for walks, whatever. Do what you know you should be doing, especially when you don't feel like it. That's something I've been telling myself a lot lately, so it's been helping me get there and helping me do things. That's my TED talk for today. 
I really want to wash my car because the back window is very dirty from all the rain. I don't know if we have a hose in this house or so. So let's have a look. We've got a hose. There's no end on it. Okay, let's not waste water. Let's go. That's pathetic. So we've got a hose that is broken here and no soap. So I'm going to go to the car wash. But we're going to wash it ourselves there. We're going to be good. It's just annoying. Like the first time I washed it, like I didn't really do it properly. So I want to get it sorted. I want to get it clean. Um, I'm just at the car park. Car, yep, car park. Car wash. And it is absolutely packed. For what reason? It's a Sunday. But anyway, um, I I'll give you guys a bit of an update while I'm waiting. I'm honestly just trying to do things every day. I feel different and I'm just trying to like listen to that and just do what I'm feeling like. There were some days where all I wanted to do after work was just sit on the couch and watch a movie and that was it. Other days are more productive. This week has just been a mess. So today I was like, I want to wash my car and do it properly. So here we are. I'm just at a point where I'm just trying to do what I want, exactly what I want. And just not being too hard on myself. Like, some days I'll be more productive than others. Yeah. I don't know. I really just don't know what's going on with me anymore. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm just letting myself recover. Because this week, I have never had a week like this before. It's building our way back up again. But I'm so excited for Sydney. Cannot wait. Love Sydney. I wish I could live in Sydney. But, like, I used to want to live in Sydney really badly. But I've decided that I think Gold Coast is the place for me. So I've recently been using Sand and Sky. I've been using it for like almost like three weeks now and I put on every single day. So they have a Tasmanian spring water hydrating serum. I put this on every single morning and night. I have never had a product that makes my skin feel this good. So a little bit goes a long way. And I also use the hydrating boost cream. Very soft, it smells very good. I've also got this LED thing that I'm trying out. It's really weird. It gives you like these little micro pulses when you're like putting it on. It's very strange. This stuff, highly recommend. I'll link it in the description, but every single day, morning and night, I use it. It's brilliant. Ignore the music. So I've also got this laser removal that I'm trying as well. I'm just trialing it out before I say anything about it. So far it seems to be working. So I've used it about one and a half weeks ago. I'm doing like my second thing now. But I just thought, you know, give it a try. You don't need glasses when you're wearing it, but I just like try and not look at it. So I just want a bit of a self-care night. What I might do, I might put some YouTube on or something. And just sit here for a bit. Um, I've just gotten into bed. It's at like nine o'clock, but I'm just, I just want to get into bed because I can't focus out in the lounge room. I want to have like an early night tonight because I'm going to be up early and I've got a long day. I'm really excited for the gym tomorrow. I really pushed myself with legs the other day, so I should do upper body tomorrow, but I just want to film it for you guys. So we'll see how we go. But I'm excited. I'm going to have a good workout. <sighs> what I'm probably going to do now I'll do my nightly journaling. Honestly, you would think the week that I've had so much going on that I'd be journaling a lot. I haven't been. <sighs> I need to find a new hairstyle. Like, I'm sick of leaving it just straight. Like, I want to find something to do. Okay, so I'm getting distracted. Yeah, let's do something. I just haven't been bothered in all honesty, I think. Because I had such, like, 
extreme emotions going on. The last thing I wanted to do was to write things. I didn't do anything. All I did was watch movies to distract myself. I'm getting back into it. I'm just gonna do this. Good morning guys so it's actually not the next day it's the day after but I'm at the gym now I didn't end up going yesterday morning because I was so sore and I just thought there's no point in me going to the gym when my whole body is sore I'm not gonna do anything so yeah look my legs are still a bit sore but I really want to film like my new workout that I'm loving at the moment so I'm gonna do that anyway tomorrow I'll do upper body like I should be doing tomorrow today anyway so I started off my workout just doing a bit of a warm-up with the bar, just stretching out my legs. My legs were really, really sore today from the other workout that I did, but we just pushed through it anyway. So I just like warmed up my body, did some lightweight squats, um, Romanian deadlifts, just stuff like that, just the usual. And then I started off with just 30 kilos on the bar for squats. I think that's 30 kilos. Um, I just was doing a bit like of a lighter weight today just so I could focus on form and like getting that depth but it was kind of hard because I was just very very stiff today um, but yeah I just wanted to do I didn't want to go full on with the weight with squats you know I just wanted to get myself warmed up and squats are a really good exercise to start with um, and then I also did some Romanian deadlifts I did 40 kilos and then I added on five kilos to each side so that made it 50 50 kilos um so this is the heaviest that i've gone with romanian deadlifts but you know proud of myself pushing myself and just trying to focus on form and all of that and then we did the hip thrusts so we did i believe this was 80 kilos on here this is my pb at the moment so just trying to take it controlled um focus on getting the right movement this was filmed on like my third set though so it ain't perfect um, but yeah, very proud of myself. And yeah, it's quite an achievement for me to do that. Um, I did a few other exercises that I didn't film, but then I finished off with some abs. I just did some simple exercises like these double crunches and then some ab bikes as well. Um, just focused on like really burning out my core. Um, didn't do anything too fancy today, just something simple. I need to get back into doing like proper ab workout routines because I've kind of been a bit slack and I'm a bit annoyed. So that's something we're going to try and focus on more. But yeah, that was my workout. It was short, sharp and shiny. To, um, uh, to give to trust. Mm. So today all of my TAFE classes are online. I'm plan business sales or something like that. Then I have got customer service after. Can I be bothered? No. Back in the car. I'm just going to go to the shops. I've got another online class in about 40 minutes or so, but I just want to get some stuff to do some cooking. Lately, I have been loving listening to music. Coldplay, Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga. They're my go-tos all the time. And they've really been helping me a lot. So from the shops, I got these spinach and ricotta twitterlini. A jumbo pack just for some meal prep got some vegetables because we ran out i also wanted to get some zucchini ew this one looks off why did i get this one uh and then some chocolate chips too so i'm just on a bit of a break now i want to make something but i don't know what okay i'm going to be trying to make these these are healthy chocolate avocado cookies and you may be thinking why is there avocado in there sometimes you use avocado as like a source of healthy fat in your recipes and it's like a substitute for butter or stuff like that we'll see how we go they look all right i hate on recipes though they give you their whole life story in the caption i just just want the recipe whilst i've been online lessons i've just been going through my product that I am making because I'm ordering a sample. I'm going to try and order it tonight. Um, I'm very excited. So this is something I've been working on for 
months now and i've always had the idea since i was younger but didn't really i didn't like i had these ideas and the messages i wanted to share i just didn't really know how to go about it and i just thought this would be very helpful for people who are wanting something that they can rely on every single day for motivation to keep them accountable to track their goals to be mindful and reflect but i'm pretty much making a journal that you guys can buy and it has everything that i wanted help with when i was going through my struggles and going through school it goes for six months this journal and you get a it's like a daily planner so each day you write down your tasks and goals for the day you do reflections you do check-ins and talking about your mood and how you're feeling and what's going on in your life at the moment and it's just a really good tracker to like build on yourselves, achieve your goals. But there's something in there for everyone. I've got little mini workouts in there too. But yeah, I'm really excited. So stay tuned and I'll talk more about the brand that I've made. You guys are the first to hear about it. But also stay tuned on my Instagram because I'm posting some like sneak peeks and stuff on there. Um, and my Instagram is Paris Hedger. But I'm very excited because this is like the first product that I've ever actually physically made. And it's just been really fun, like, researching, like, how the hell do you even start a business? So, yeah, by the way, I need some coconut sugar now. As you guys know, like, I love journals. I've been using them since I was, like, six in primary school, writing about my crushes. Like, I think they're one of the most beneficial things you can do. Like, it is so valuable. And, like, I've gone through so many over the years, but none of them had everything that I wanted. Like, I wanted it to be more, like, open and encourages you to think deeply about things. One egg. Cinnamon. Okay. Then one third cup of flour. Let's have trauma from this stove. We had someone come over and they moved all of the spices from the bottom to the top. We had to climb on there to get them down. And I fell. My whole leg was green. Okay, lastly, chocolate chips, and I think that's it. Wow, this mixture is very like wet. use maybe like a little bit less cacao powder not bad and just like a little bit bitter which i was expecting but like the moisture's there the texture's there so so let's just ignore the horrible phone quality um gonna wrap up this video here i feel like this was really random but i haven't had much to film this week because i haven't been doing anything in all honesty so yeah it's my life at the moment it's really good but next week i'm going on a holiday i can't wait i seriously need this so stay tuned i'm going on my very first cruise going to brisbane for the very first time and i'm going back to sydney as well so it's gonna be jam-packed full of things um I'm gonna go to karen's diner and i'm gonna film that so I'm actually a bit scared. They're going to roast me. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and all of your support. Um, and yeah, as I said, stay tuned for the next couple of videos because they're actually going to be interesting ones. Anyway, um, if you guys got this far, thank you. And yeah, have a great night.